It's the name of an event we started to hold regularly. Seen at night. It goes the my dream when I was child. Did a magic of dreaming. An event with dreams for the free experience and a moment of dream born. So, I can't say that we have wild and fabulous story. Have a listen for yourselves. You mean seen many dreams? This <laughs> participate you to share your experiences with dreaming. Please allow me to ask you to as <laughs> Rest assured, and snacks you like there. Follow <laughs> me. Interrupt everyone. We finally have some real dream. Please. Now. Please. He must be. Their land. Right. First, me. Everyone, line up and ask in an orderly fashion. Simon didn't expect them to be so enthusiastic. My question is simple. My everyday life is very difficult, so I would like to become a slime in my dreams. How can I do that? Oh, hi, man. The first time, Paimon became an animal slime. Paimon was shot by an adventurer's arrow and flew in the sky all night long. The second time, Paimon became a dendro slime. A group of kids thought Paimon was a radish and pulled out all the grass on her head. Oh, it was super painful. The third time, Paimon became a cryo slime. In the end, Paimon was captured by a chef and turned into a and the fourth time, Paimon became a powerful Geo Slime and went to take revenge on the forest boar that used to bully Paimon. Then the boar showed up with all of its relatives and Paimon lost again. <laughs> your dreams and so tragically. Because slimes are monsters, they look cute. They usually cause trouble and end up getting killed by adventurers. Things don't tend to end well for monsters. Believe Paimon. I suppose you're right. They are mon- I just want to experience a different life, but it seems that becoming a monster would be even worse than my current life. Hmm. Maybe I'd be happy with a regular finch. Or fish. Esteemed expert, I want to know where I should sleep so I can have the same as the one I had last night. Uh, well? Hey, you're supposed to be helping. Um, first, 
tell Paimon about the dream you want to have again. <laughs> oh, quite. I sound What? I. Listen to Ellie. Uh, unfortunately, she passed away. Oh, uh, sorry. I might never assumed any. No, it's fine. I didn't make that clear. I just want a chance to see her. Yeah, it's not really about posture. What you think about right before fall is probably way more Oh. Is that all I have to do? Think about it. If you're the one thinking about her, and the one that'll be dreaming about her, then it'll be easy for thoughts and dreams. You do have a point. I'll give it a try tonight. Thanks for your wise advice. Oh, my turn, my turn. Um, I want to know the name of the plant in my dream. I want in my room into my dream. I dreamt of a raven flying over the wasteland last night. Does that have any kind of special meaning? Hey, no rush! One at a time! Huh. Their questions were way too difficult. We don't actually know what they do. We're just more experienced dreamers. That's all. You do have a point. It's more rewarding to explain and contemplate the meaning of a question than to focus on the answer itself. Right now, these people are like, what? Three days and three nights and are desperate to replenish their energy. Any explanation they get now is like, just an explanation really is. Oh, and now that the Python has said, you know who comes to mind? Bingo! If she was here, she'd probably be making some similar analogy. Unfortunately, she's super busy right now, and may not have time for gatherings like this. Dear expert, we have a guest who would like to consult you. Uh, you see how we answered all the questions just now? We're not really all that knowledgeable. Ah, but this guest is rather... Special. My question is, why didn't you immediately tell me about such an interesting place? Nahida, how did you get here? Interesting events like a moment of dreams don't happen every day, after all. No matter how busy things are, I'd still set aside some time to check it out. Anyway, I really didn't expect to meet you here. Oh, right! If there's anyone that understands dreams, it's you! You should be able to help us answer all these questions! You're not wrong. All right, they can ask me anything. The more interesting, the better. Uh, uh... Huh? What's wrong? You were all so excited a minute ago. Why the sudden hesitation? Even so... It's not like I look super intimidating or anything, right? And in terms of reputation and renown, you've also done many great things in Sumeria. Yet they didn't even flinch at you. Alas, they all vanished in an instant. It appears I'm the one spoiling the fun here. I'll see my f out. Oh, that's not true, Kiba. I want to get in the way of the original purpose of a moment of dreams, which is to let people gather here and freely share their marvelous dreams. Now the atmosphere here is like water poured into a container. The water is more secure and settled, but it has lost its free-flowing nature from the river. I just want it to be another drop in the water, not the cold and restrictive container. She's soaking. Everyone, don't need to be shy. The Dendro Archon is really nice, so please just go ahead and ask. Otherwise, she'll leave. Uh, all right, I'll give it a try. Oh, 
fine guy. Hey, drop the nicknames, would you? Besides, I don't want to become a slime anymore. Maybe a finch or fish is more suitable for me. I see. So you want to become a small animal in your dreams, right? Why do you think that sounds good to you? I guess I just want to experience something different. My everyday life is nothing but the same. The sky is right above me and the ocean just over the horizon, yet I remain caged not me. So you want to experience something new in your dreams? Mm, sorry, I'm getting a little confused. Why don't you seek out some new experiences in real life? Because if I don't work, I won't have any mora. Sure, I don't want to be out hammering nails and cutting wood every day, but I have aging parents and young children to take care of. By the time this all dawned on me, I realized that my life has already been filled to the brim by trifling matters, and I have no more freedom. But if that's the case, then even if you became a flying bird or swimming fish, you will still be hammering nails and cutting wood in your dreams. The reason is you've already been caged. It doesn't matter what your physical body does, your mind will still be stuck in the same predicament. Really? That sounds pretty terrible. Then what should I do? I don't know everything that you're going through, but how about replacing your hammer? Huh? Replacing my hammer? That's right. Having worked for such a long time, you of all people must know what makes a good hammer. Well, of course. A good hammer heavy enough to drive the nail in with just a couple taps. And to have a good grip to it, not too smooth. Come to think of it, I haven't replaced my current hammer in quite some time. You should replace it. Then decorate the handle with something you like. Maybe some ornaments, fur, or hard leather wrapping. Then write the names of your children on it. Huh. That makes sense. I think it'd give me a boost of energy at work. A new sense of adventure often begins with the little things in life. You don't need to become a bird in the air or a fish in the sea. You only need to do your best in life, and all those things you cherish will become your source of happiness. Yes. Yes, I get it now. This is a real eye-opener for me. I'll go and pick out a new hammer right away. No, I should make one of my own. Know how to get right to the heart of the problem. Actually, really. Huh? I gave him that advice because I once saw a worker doing the same thing. Whenever he became tired, he would look at some names on the handle of his tool. After a moment, he'd start to smile. It really surprised me at the time. My guess is that the names on the handle were of important people to him. Mm hmm After observation, I know this kind of behavior motivates people. But why is that? Is it because of excitement, anticipation, or helplessness? I really don't know. And even if I could know what's going through his mind, it's still difficult to fully grasp his feelings. Oh, Paimon gets what you mean. Huh. Paimon had no idea it takes you so much effort to understand these kinds of things. <laughs> That's why I was a bit nervous just now. But luckily, seeing his happy face in the end, I'm sure anything wrong. Mind me, though. This is just my way of living. Hey! Don't forget about Paimon! Everyone knows that Paimon's also super skilled at reading people's feelings. Thanks, you two. That makes me feel a lot better. Let's the next question, shall we? I already asked the experts my question earlier, but I want to hear the Dendro Archon's response, too. What should I do if I want to see my deceased wife in my dreams, 
every night. Ooh, longing for the deceased. Even if you keep real memories, it'll only highlight the emptiness in your real life. If your wife were still alive, she certainly wouldn't want to see you like No. I suppose not. But our time together in my dreams is not just our past together. I don't know. It's because I miss her too much. But it's back to life in my dream. She even remembers each and every dream. After I wake up and then continue dreaming again later, we can our conversation right where we last left off. That's really amazing. Statistically speaking, continuous dreams are extremely rare. It's almost as if my wife has obtained a self in my dreams. But the more the emptier I feel, and the more painful it is when I wake I don't know call it a blessing. Maybe all of this is rooted in longing for her. Were there any unresolved matters or regrets between the two of you? I suppose my biggest regret is that I couldn't spend the rest of my life. I felt like I was ready to move on. I wouldn't be so hesitant now if it was hyper-realistic dreams I've been having. Huh. You know, they say that whatever's on your mind goes into your dreams. But dreams are and be just dreams. We are people living in the real world. It's not good to be overly obsessed with dreams. All little do fill up your mind and eat away at your thoughts. Yes, I know. That's why I'm also a little disappointed in myself. I still need to take care of our child. And it's probably not good to let her see me in such a state. <sighs> anyway, thanks for your... Archon. Hmm, I'm a little worried about him. I hope he can find a way to cheer soon. I... From here, you need to find You're here to have a good time, after all. Are you feeling any better now? Yes. Really good point. I need to stop dwelling on my wife like this and move on with my life. Think about it. My wife and I always meet at a familiar place in my I know where that place exists in reality, but it's a bit far. I don't dare to go there on my own. But at the same I feel as if I should go and have a look anyway. Be able to move on once I see that there's nothing there. Otherwise, I'll keep on feeling like everything is covered in hay. And I'm only half awake. Once I can start dreaming about that place, I'll be able to get my life back together. Actually, you two are dreamers, right? If it's okay with you, could you escort me to that place? Yeah, it might also be a good chance to unwind. Even if you can't see your wife there, taking in some nice scenery will definitely help you. Yeah, I hope so. All right, go ahead and get yourself ready then. Ahem. <laughs> You headed off to some interesting place without telling me again? Huh? Wait! I just finished. And they really got a lot out of it. So many interesting and novel thoughts. Oh, there's no need to trouble you, Great Dendro Archon. I imagine you must have many other important things to deal with. Ceremony. Besides, I wouldn't have asked to come along if I... 
I wanted to use this opportunity to discuss with you some things that are puzzling me right now. Huh. I didn't know the great Dendro Archon could become puzzled, too. <laughs> you know. All right, let's go. Wait. Go for a leisure. Do adventurers often go to places like this? on the summit up ahead when i saw her in my dreams we didn't do anything but talk about ordinary mundane i'd tell her about our daughter hydar and she always intent she would also write about the past with me telling me interesting stories and cracking jokes it feels like no matter how long we may chat it's never enough Sometimes, it's the little things in life that matter the most. That's the part I'm a little puzzled about. And normally, they lack logic and continuity. But you said she could remember what I told her before. That's right. She always listened to me carefully in real life, and now, she's doing the same in my dreams. She always surprises me with some details from our lives in the real world. Remember such things makes me feel like she's alive. Whoa, that's... Well, dreams are kind of weird to begin with. However, the problem is that his dreams have too much structure and content. Most dreams are far more fragile than you can imagine. For example, a Noise outside your window. Your dreams help to get loaded out of a big cannon. Another example. If you're thirsty in the real world, then you might find yourself trudging through a desert in your dream. But the appearance of your wife seems unusually stable and unaffected by outside interference. Statistically, this should be extremely rare. I don't but I have no reason to suspect or reject these dreams. They're too beautiful. But I still want to figure out the why. These kind of dreams are novel to me as well. That's why I want to have a look at the scene your dreams have been taking place at. Let's go. Just think of it as a nice little hike to the top of the mountain. Well... He really wasn't kidding. This place definitely isn't safe. No matter. We'll just finish them quickly. Huh? Are you going to fight too, Nahida? Of course. This is all part of our little trip. The scenery here is amazing! It also seems like a great spot for eating snacks and taking a nap. Paima wouldn't mind spending some time here every day either. <sighs> I've yet to see anything strange about this place. I do not plan to deny the power of longing. Such an intense but unquantifiable emotion could indeed be to organize dreams. His wife must be a really amazing person. Huh? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, so you are waiting for me here? with me today and said she wanted to come with me I could hardly believe it I'll bring Hydar once more familiar with the way here she's been telling me did you Uh-oh, he's gonna fall! Hmm. <sighs> Luckily, he didn't fall. What was all that rambling about? He also looks like he's passed out. He's in the dream now. 
What he said just now matches almost perfectly with the dreams he subscribed to us earlier. Started to have the same dream? I find it a little strange as well. But we must wait in someone else's sleep. I'll wait. <sighs> Where mine are? You're fake. What? Huh? Sleep? Oh, right. I don't think so. I slept a lot yesterday, and I don't feel very sleepy now. Maybe we've affected the way his subconscious constructs dreams by following him here. Anyway, all that matters is that you woke up safe and sound. I think I know what happened now. I'm sorry. If it weren't for you, I would have fallen. Let's head back now. Don't come back to this place again for the time being. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs>